Hello, I'm Dr. Inman. This is a miniature lecture on lipomas in the canine. Very commonly in the life of the canine, essentially, they will have a storm, if you will, of lipomas. Fatty, well-integrated, uh, uh, non-malignant tumors or growths that occur usually in the ventral aspect of their body, essentially. They can have one that can be really big, or they can have dozens of them. I've spent hundreds of hours opening these up essentially and getting rid of them because they're aesthetically disgusting and also they're kind of like uh, a problem and of course we open them up thinking they could be something else they end up being a fatty tumor when you open one up like I said it's would be this big around you open it up it has a it has a fibrous connective tissue uh, capsule and basically you open that up you can reach inside and scoop it out as one big blob it looks like a little white fat snowball essentially and, and then you close up all the dead space and close that up essentially and that can be fine if an animal has more than a half a dozen of those it can be quite an extensive time consuming surgery it has been shown that this particular laser this one for instance has been able to actually reduce the size of lipomas or, or fatty tissue in the human being it requires us to not use a frequency specific actually no laser uh, frequency at all just straight laser light and usually 20 minutes is what it takes before it can start to cause the adipose cells to open up in the actual advanced course we show you the research that's been done it's double blinded number of type 1 placebo based randomized research that shows that this laser light will actually open up the adipocytes and it will actually leak the material inside the adipose cell out and the body picks it up in the interstitial space and gets rid of it that's the good news. The bad news is that virtually what will happen when we start to laser an animal like this is we can reduce the size of a lipoma to about half, but that's about it. Maybe to a third of its size, but it'll still resume there. And also as it stays there and the animal continues to eat and have the met metabolic physiology that it has, it'll build back up again. And so um, using this therapy, which would require about 20 or 30 laserings of about 20 minutes apiece to reduce the size by about a third to a half, is really not a very good use of time and also it's too expensive for the client. We do in fact use that when we end up with lipomas that are in an area that are, are surgically improper or unable for us to get. For instance, a surgery under the armpit that's wrapped completely around the nerves and the blood supply in that armpit is a real classic example. Also in the inguinal area too or up underneath the neck where we really can't dissect it out effectively. We may dissect as much of that tumor out as we can and then laser the rest of it to try to get it to reduce so it's not causing a problem. But when we have a great big tumor under the armpit or in the groin or up in the neck it may compromise this animal's motion and also function so we'll utilize the laser for that however the client needs to know that it's going to take a lot of time of lasering and we can certainly laser this animal with this technology we can certainly laser this animal with this technology with a double laser approach for instance um, for instance like on a, a lipoma up here up under the neck and you have your staff basically hold it there for about 20 minutes and over a period of time it will go down significantly but maybe not enough for us to warrant having to do that so a lot of people want to try to utilize this technique as a means to take care of all lipomas and I have to tell you that its success is really only used for animals that have lipomas that are in fact um, um, needing to be removed and can't be removed surgically so it's a lot easier a lot quicker in my background of surgery when in doubt cut it out of there we can get it out of there in a matter of minutes as opposed to lasering it for hours and hours just to reduce it by half this has been a lecture on lipomas essentially one of the things that we really don't treat very often unless it can't be removed surgically with the, uh, the laser we've tried essentially and so if you have any any more questions you can contact me at 888-935-4866 I'll be able to give you a little bit more information or you can go to the website vomtech.com and look at that particular area on frequency specific laser therapy and how it is that we have a complete technology that will show you how to treat the 2700 disease conditions that we've mapped out and more to come. Thank you very much and have a great day.